What is going on, guys? It's touchdowns to home runs. Now, if you see my NHL Stanley Cup playoffs predictions, you know I'm in South Carolina and I don't have my green screen or camera, so I have to do it like this again. And for some reason, the NBA bracket challenge won't let me pick, so I just had to do it like this. So the bracket came out yesterday, and I'm just going to go through who I think is going to win each series and who I think overall the NBA champion will be this year. So first game, we're starting off with the East, uh, the number one Milwaukee Bucks and the number eight Detroit Pistons. Uh, Giannis is way too much for the Pistons overall, so I'm going with the Bucks on this one. Next up, we got Boston and Indiana. I think Boston's still too much for Indiana. Um, yeah, just Kyrie and uh, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, all those guys, way too much for Indiana. Philadelphia, Brooklyn, yeah, Joel Embiid, Jimmy Butler, Ben Simmons, all those guys are going to beat Brooklyn, no problem there. And then last in the East, we have Toronto and Orlando. Like, Toronto's not losing Siakam, Lowry, and Kawhi. So basically, I have all the favorite seeds winning in the East. Now moving on to the, at, to the West, the Golden State Warriors and LA Clippers, uh, obviously Golden State. Um... Houston and Utah. I'm actually going to go with Utah in this one. I think Donovan Mitchell will have a big series and help his team to take over Houston, who was a really big threat to the Warriors last year. OKC in Portland. I like Damian Lillard, but on this one, I'm going, going to go with Oklahoma City. Paul George and Russell Westbrook, I think they're going to have a big series too and help them pull off the upset. Now, last in the West, we have Denver and San Antonio. Uh, Denver has been really good this year, so that's why I'm still taking them on this one, even though I think San Antonio could make it close. Going back to now we got the conference semifinals. We have Milwaukee and Boston. Uh, obviously, I'm going to take the Bucks on this one. I think they're just way too good this year, and Boston's having problems like with chemistry and stuff, so I'm sticking with Milwaukee. Toronto and Philadelphia. In my mind, this one could go either way, but I am going to pick Toronto because they're, they've are they been more consistent than Philadelphia. Next, we got Golden State and Utah, and on this one, I'm going to take Golden State. They're just way too good. Curry, Durant, Cousins, Thompson, Green. It, they're all all-stars. Like, it's insane. And then we got Oklahoma City and Denver. I'm going to go with Denver on this one. So now we in our conference finals, we have Milwaukee and Toronto. This one, again, could go either way. I think I am going to go with Toronto on this one to make it to the NBA Finals if Kawhi actually plays. Um, they're just a really good team. And I think even though Milwaukee's had their number this year, uh, I think think that Toronto will show up for the playoffs and then last we have Golden State and Denver you saw in the one regular season game where Golden State went to Denver and absolutely destroyed them I think Golden State just goes on another level when they're in the playoffs like I don't think the regular season mean any, means anything for them so I am gonna go Golden State so my NBA finals we have the Toronto Raptors versus the Golden State Warriors and on this one, I am going to go with the Golden State Warriors. I just don't see the, how they're going to lose with all those guys on their team. Like Kawhi, Lowry, Siakam, Danny Green, all those guys are good. But I just don't think it's their year to win. If they could keep the same team next year when Durant leaves, I think they that gives them a much better chance to win. So my 2019 NBA uh, Finals champions are the Golden State Warriors. And thank you for watching this video. Uh, do a lot of sports content. So if you like that, subscribe and yeah, come back next time.